and with cut creases they really hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is monica i try to put out videos every monday and friday based solely on beauty products beauty reviews and anything to do with makeup today i really want to get into a um not like a wish list but kind of a beauty bucket list for 2018 along with some channel goals that i have for the year i got this idea or was inspired for this idea from ls who was in turn inspired from it's me hunter so i'm going to link both of their channels down below i absolutely adore ls she's been one of my biggest inspirations over the past couple of months and she just introduced me to it's me hunter who i'm just about to subscribe to and check out her channel Channel as well so I do have this split into two parts one part is the um, the actual beauty things that I wish I could get better at what I really want to work on in 2018 and the other half are more of the channel oriented things that I really want to work on so I have my notes right here let's go ahead and jump into it so number one on my list of beauty things that I really want to get better at are lashes I love the way lashes look on me I think they look beautiful they really like push every makeup look to the next level and I've used them a couple of times they still take me a while to put on and I'm not at the point where I could definitely wear them like on an everyday basis so during 2018 I really do want to get a little bit more out of my comfort zone um, experiment with more lashes I do have a couple of pairs that I've been saving to try out some from Pure some from Ardell um, so just getting more comfortable with lashes wearing them you know more on an everyday basis is one of my goals for the year. Another goal for 2018 is to get better at the cut crease. Um, since I do have heavily hooded eyes, uh, cut creases can help in opening them up and making them look a little bigger than they actually are. And I just think it looks aesthetically pleasing and it is something that I do want to try to do because I have tried it a couple of times, but honestly it hasn't been up to my standards. And you can really use a cut crease in any kind of look with any kind of colors with any kind of textures so it is something that i really want to get comfortable with and master over 2018. now the last beauty related thing that i have on my beauty bucket list for this year is to stop being afraid of lip products now that does sound a little bit silly but um i have all these beautiful lip products if i have my um, lip product declutter up i'll go ahead and link that below below or if it's not uploaded yet, make sure you subscribe so you can go ahead and catch that when it does come out. But I have all these beautiful lip products. I swatch them, I try them on, and they look great. But I am afraid of wearing them, like, either to work or for all day, like, all day long. Because I keep thinking, like, oh, what happens if it breaks down in the middle of the day? What happens if it doesn't look as great and I'm not able to touch it up? My goal is to stop being afraid of them and just to wear them. Because I think they look beautiful. I think they could really help me get out of my comfort zone and I have all these products that I really want to use and they're just sitting there not being used so that is my last like beauty goal for 2018. The rest of these goals are more um, channel oriented. I did attempt to start this channel back last summer when work was a little less crazy but in September when work got um, I was working like 20 hours of overtime a week um, this kind of fell to the wayside. Now this is something that I'm really passionate about, something I really want to commit to, so I am committing to videos every Monday and Friday. The goal would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I am trying to keep this more realistic, something that I could really um, see myself sticking to more. So I am sticking to Monday and Friday at the moment. The second channel goal that I really want to stick to is interacting more. Another thing that I've been not afraid of but something I've been shying away from is commenting on other people's videos and just really interacting with other people on YouTube. Which thinking about it, it's really stupid considering the fact that YouTube is the platform where anyone can come on, create their own content, and really interact with anyone else on the internet. I always find myself like watching these videos, watching these people that I admire, and like finding things that I want to say or things that I'm like, oh, I want to, I also got that same product or, oh, I also really thought the same thing about this. And I find myself holding back from actually commenting or interacting with people and I need, I need to get past that because like this is what I'm really into and 
there's like one or two people in my real life that I can actually talk to makeup about and even then it's like in passing and I really want to get to a point where I can talk to other people that are as passionate about makeup and about this as, as I am so I feel like YouTube is the one place that I can do that so I need to stop holding myself back from you know commenting and interacting and you know finding a community where I could actually fit in so another this one isn't really um related to my channel but it does tie in it's getting better at photography I've always loved taking photos and um you know getting like artsy craftsy with different angles and it's always a running joke in my family that if anything's happening or if we make a, a good looking meal or if we do anything I'm always the one right there taking a picture of it and I have been really proud of the way my Instagram has been for the past couple of months and now that I have an actual Canon camera I really want to just you know step it up to the next level I want to over the next year take some amazing photographs on top of that I want to have some amazing experiences but that's more of like a personal kind of 2018 goal but as I go through this year as I go through the summer as I go through the spring I really want to devote more time to taking some more great photos because I've been able to do some great things with just my iPhone but now that I have an actual like Canon I'm excited for like all the new like options and availability for what I can do with an actual like camera and this is my first like real camera <laughs> so i'm still getting used to it. i've only had it for a couple of days at this point but i am really excited about what i can do with it so far the last thing that i want to include in this video is kind of a combination of like a channel and a beauty goal i want to get better at doing empties videos now i'm a bit of a neat freak i don't like having trash around my room as you can see my room is pretty much spotless but I feel like empties are a good way to keep track of what I'm using, what I'm actually liking, and deciding at the end of the day what I've actually liked about each product and what I've not liked about each product. So I do want to designate either like a drawer in my dresser for, or like a little bucket for empties. And I do want to review them at the end of every month if I do have empties at the end of every month just so that I can get better in tune with what I'm using and what I'm liking. So that is my beauty slash channel bucket list for 2018. If you have a beauty bucket list video or you have anything that you want to work on in 2018, please link it or let me know down below. I would love to hear from other people. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope I'll see you in one of my other videos. Bye!